What is going on YouTube? Just helping you out here. And for today's video, I will be doing chapter 21, problem 24 in the Fundamentals of Physics 10th edition textbook by Walker, Halliday, and Resnick. Chapter 21 is all about Coulomb's law. And in problem 24, we have two water droplets and we are asked to find the magnitude of the electrostatic force between them and how many excess electrons are on each drop. And so according to Coulomb's law for part A, the electrostatic force is equal to the absolute value of your first charge times the absolute value of your second charge divided by 4 times pi times epsilon naught times r squared. So you have the electrostatic force, absolute value of charge 1, absolute value of charge 2, constant pi, the vacuum permittivity constant, and the distance between your two point charges. And now in this case, we are told that the charge on both water droplets is identical, meaning that Q1 is equal to Q2. So for simplicity, I'm going to drop the subscript and just say that the charge is Q. And so if Q1 equals Q2, that means that the absolute value of Q1 is equal to the absolute value of Q2. So I can just rewrite this numerator as Q squared. So we'll say F is equal to Q squared divided by 4 pi epsilon naught times r squared. And in the problem, we are given both the charge and the distance between the two water droplets, and these two are constants, so we have everything here we need to solve for part A, so we can just plug those in. This is going to be equal to negative 1 times 10 to the negative 16th coulombs squared divided by 4 times pi times epsilon naught, which is 8.85 times 10 to the negative 12th coulomb squared per newton times meter squared times our radius squared. And our radius, we are told, is 1 centimeter. But as you see right here, we have meters, so we need to convert this to meters. And that'll be 100 centimeters in one meter. And now that is our entire term for the radius, and our radius is squared, so we're gonna square that entire term. And now if you plug all of that into your calculator, you will find that the electrostatic force between these two water droplets is 8.99 times 10 to the negative 19th newtons. And that is your final answer for part A. And in part B, we are asked how many excess electrons are on each drop. And so charge is equal to the number of electrons times the charge of an electron. And so since we are trying to find the number of electrons, we can divide both sides by the charge of an electron to isolate n. And if we do that, the number of electrons would be equal to the total charge divided by the charge of an electron. We're given the charge in the problem, and the charge of an electron is a universal constant, so we have everything we need to solve for n. And so n is going to be equal to negative 1 times 10 to the negative 16th coulombs divided by the charge of an electron, which is negative 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19th coulombs per electron. And if you plug that into your calculator, you will find that the number of excess electrons on each drop is equal to 625 electrons. And that is your final answer for part B. And so that's about it for this problem. If you found this video helpful, please drop a like. Leave a comment if you have any questions or an idea for a future video. And lastly, please don't forget to subscribe and tell your friends about my channel so I can grow and help more of you guys out. I'm just helping you out. See you in the next video.